Oh my goodness gracious. That was a science fair. Here we are, finally. Thank you for your patience today. It is Stretch Sunday, where we will be doing the yin style, long static holds for the entire body. Um, very hard work this week. Very, very intense workouts. We deserve a day like this. We kind of need a day like this. And for me also, as we've discussed on these Sundays, it's quite meditative when you must sit for two minutes at a time, five minutes at a time, ten minutes at a time. You really got to focus on something minimal, something that isn't crazy moving and chaotic like our HIIT workouts or a timer that keeps anxiety going like our last push-up workout or something very intense. Well, today can be intense if you choose to focus that deep. However, make sure you approach it meditatively in that try to get rid of, try to isolate yourself from thoughts that exist outside this practice right now. It's damn near impossible to shut stuff off, shut other things out. <clears throat> but the deeper we get into what we're doing right now, the tighter you can put the blinders, the shutting out of other things will start to happen automatically. It'll just be like a, a filter in your brain. Only thoughts coming in are the observations about the stretches that we're doing. And also that looming question of, oh, this is pretty tight and painful. When is this going to be over? What's the timer on his watch say? Are we almost done? Got some really great ones today. I'm excited for these. I've been super tight. This week's work has been ridiculous. Happy Easter, by the way, if you celebrate. If you don't, smile and tell somebody else happy Easter. Oh, thank you. This, I figured the closest thing I have to Easter clothing is Christmas clothing. <laughs> if that offends you, sorry. <laughs> Just trying to get in the spirit. We need a broomstick, which is kind of strange. If you don't have one, uh, maybe you're fancy and you have golf clubs. Maybe uh, you have a home device t-ball bat for defense. <laughs> you could bust that out. Uh, a crowbar for your extracurricular weekend activities. What else would work? Anything stiff. I'm looking here. Actually, I have my extra tripod. This would work fine for what we're about to do eventually it's only for one move so if we get to that move and you still don't have a thing uh i'll give you an alternative all right but it's really really nice for that specific sub stretch to have ourselves a broomstick it's even referred to as the broomstick stretch by some physical therapists uh, and it's a very specific application so please try to get something like that of course we need soft floor space as we do on all stretch sundays and we are going to use of course i think we've used it every day this week we're going to use the towel which is now by the way on the nomad workout app version 1.03 check out that towel floor space towel broomstick type of thing some stiff, I don't know. Any other ideas what we could use? So you got like a plank of wood if you're a crafts person. Um, maybe like a yard stick or a meter stick, depending on your nationality. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, some long, stiff thing. Ow. Should we get into it? Hamstrings first. We're gonna do some resistance stretches before we do our holds. Not yin at all, those resistance stretches. That's where we fight against the stretch with musculature. 
I'm on my back for this one. We're going to do a little different approach with the hamstring work than we did the last two Sundays. I'm going to put the off leg just down here, like I'm starting glute bridges. The other leg is going to come up, and I'm going to capture the arch with my towel. Now, depending on your arm and leg length and your starting flexibility today, you might be deeper or shallower, whatever. I'm about to hit about halfway through. Doesn't matter too much. Now, the other leg is going to go all the way down once we capture that top foot. And for me, my tightness level, if my knee is straight like it is, I already feel a stretch up the entire backside of that lifted leg. Now, I'm pushing down against the towel while I'm curling up with my arms. And we get that isometric battle the entire time. Now I'll pull up with the arms to get a hamstring stretch. And then I push back down with the leg to relieve that stretch feeling. We're not doing it loosely, but there's a constant battle between the arms and the leg. That towel should be ready to rip at any moment. And the more tension you put into that battle, the more effective this first resistance stretch is going to be. Let's go for 12 repetitions. Slow is good in both directions. Pull, push, two, straight knee if you can, push. Go a little further with each one. Three, and if you're doing it right, this is work on your biceps because you're pushing so hard with your leg. Four, yeah, and push, five. Oh, push. Six. Push. Seven. Fight with the leg. Rip that towel. Ah. Eight. Deep into the stretch. And push out of the stretch. Nine. Deeper in than last time. And push out. We're going to 12. So here's 10. Yeah. Two more. 11. Open everything up. 12. Ah, perfect. Now while we're here, we're going to kind of simulate the happy baby one side. So let me show you from the front side. Where I was just doing this up and down, now I'm going to turn my knee out. I've turned my knee out like so. And now the towel is capturing the pinky side of my foot. Let me show you a couple of the repetitions. This leg is still down. I'm going further up on the towel. I'm pulling the foot in now. So we get a, uh, a rotational stretch about the hip. This is kind of like our pigeon in reverse. My knees bowed out to the side. My foot is in towards my chest. If I'll show you without lying down, it's here to there. And if it's not a stretch, you're going to work yourself higher up the towel. But let's do a lying down. Come with me for 12. Reach out. The same thing here. We're fighting against the towel with the legs. Pull in and rotate. Reach up. Pull in and rotate. And we're constantly fighting. Don't make it passive. Make it very active and muscular. Pull. Give me some different angles, hopefully it help, helpful. Pull in. Knee bows out, foot bows in towards the chest. Five. Six, as you start to open up, you bring it higher up the body, back to the chest. Seven. Eight, nine, <clears throat> ten, eleven, 
Good. Same two moves on the other leg now. We're gonna start with the hamstring work. On our backs, capture that other foot. Once we capture it, the free leg lies down all the way. A constant battle between a leg pushing down and the arms pulling up. Let's begin with 12. Keep the knees straight or close to straight, 12. And right off the bat, you'll notice this leg is much tighter than the other. Why? Because we actually created some change throughout those two sets on the other leg. So we immediately notice quite a bit of a difference because here we're just starting these muscles. The other side, we already opened them up and something happened. If you notice a change, like, oh shit, this leg is way tighter. That just means you opened up the other one significantly. The proof is in the pudding right here. We did a thing on that other leg. We changed our mobility and our flexibility in the immediate. Woo. That feels like it's about four. Here goes five out of 12. Woo. Six. Slow and muscular, seven. The leg isn't quiet and relaxed. It's pushing back against that towel. Eight. Nine. <laughs> Ten. Eleven. Good. Last one, twelve. Beautiful. Staying lying down. Again now, we're going to turn our leg, approximating that pigeon that we're going to eventually do as a whole. Then I'll crawl my way up the towel further. Extend out, and then bring that foot towards your belly. Toes up, of course, as we always do with the stretching of the knee, or uh, the twisting of the knee, rather. Knee bows out. Higher. Until you go foot to the face. Yeah. Flying down. Get your 12. It's a constant fight. 12. About 11. 10. Nine. Eight, seven, constantly fighting both directions. No point in this is passive. Six, five, your grip should be exhausted already if you're doing it right. Four, if your grip isn't tired, you're not doing enough. Three, Two, one, perfect. Hop out of the towel for a moment. We're gonna roll through the piriformis a bit before we get further into some of the first holds. Super wide. Let's bring the left knee in like so. I'm gonna take the right foot and put that heel right on top and trap it. If that trapping's not available, you can just be like so. That's totally fine. I prefer the trapping. This front leg, it cannot be deeper than 90. We don't want this. We want to open it up. So make sure it's nice and open. We have a line, side of my torso, all the way down that femur. Be, your left cheek is off the ground. That's the resistance of this, uh, this hip rotator hoop that we're about to address. I'm going to turn in that direction, and I'm going to try my best to drop this hip towards the floor as I raise this knee up. Watch. Turn in that direction. Pushing this cheek down, raising this knee up to keep that trapping. And this shin just stays there. Lean back and look over to that side. You're going to feel, hopefully, something on the side of that left cheek or the left leg. 
Some of you might feel the front of the left hip, but it's all about the left leg right now, all about the left hip, deep inside the left hip. If you really get that coordination and the focus going, you're going to feel it right where we want to feel it, deep underneath the left seat. Turn, and then turn away to relieve it. Lift the cheek again, go to where we start, and get out. Turn into it. Make sure you figure this one out because we're going to do a hold in this position. Turn back. Just four out of 12. Turn back. Five. Oh. Turn back. Six. Turn back. Seven. Turn back. Eight. Yeah, eight's enough. Turn back. Now we'll switch. Push that trapping leg off. Lift that left leg. If it feels strange and vulnerable, you've probably done the right stuff. Again, starting wide. Toes up. Now I'm bringing my right knee to the ground in the center of my body. Tapping the right leg in place. Remember, not deeper than 90. Needs to be open. Heel over top. That hip is lifted. That right cheek is lifted because we're resisting our own stretch. What do we do? We turn into it to go deeper. Once again, somewhere behind the right seat, maybe down the right leg, maybe in the front of the right hip, but this is all about the right side, right? Let's turn to the right, lean back into our arms, find it, and push out. Lean into it, find it, push out. If this feels strange on the right knee, just don't go so deep. Be gentle. This one will be beneficial for you, but if you have especially any uh, MCL predisposed bullshit, this one might not feel too hot for you. Two things we can do, obviously, don't go as deep. The other one is to flex the toes upward on the leg that's getting trapped. We'll do three more. Three. Two. Last one. Beautiful. Excellent. <sighs> one last thing, and it's twist before we get into the lower body holds, and then we'll do a whole separate sequence for the shoulders, which we'll get into. And we should probably get some forearm stretching too. After all the yesterdays, this, and all the gripping from the towel this week. I'm nice and tall. I'm in my cross-legged. If that's doable, awesome. If not, you can do some kind of open figure four situation. Whatever you prefer. All right. I'm going to my cross-legged. And furthermore, let's just feel how awkward that is. <laughs> ah. Looks like I'm having a little connection. Oh, we're back. We're back in action. I'm on my awkward cross-legged, nice and tall, twisting the upper body as far as I can, and the hand as close to the knee, go outside, so we can push. This hand goes to the floor, and the combination of those driving forces is gonna help me get tall and twist even further. And we're gonna stay on that one side for the eight. Seven. You don't need to move the hands, just push deeper into the stretch with each rep. Six. Think tall, don't crunch down, but extend out of the turtle shell. And twist. Five, four, beautiful. Three, two, one. Other side now. Turn, hand outside the knee, other hand behind us. We're going to push in combination that way so that we can twist the upper body that way. Nice and tall. Let's go for it. Eight. Twist that spine. Seven. You might hear a little snap, crackle, pop action. That's okay. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Excellent. Let's get into the first series of holds. This is where we get into that meditative focus. All the moves we just did, we're capturing a foot. We're going to pull 
the straight leg towards us and get a constant hamstring hold. Two minutes. Come back now. Connect me, interwebs, please. And we're back. Thanks for your patience. Today looks like it's going to be an exercise of patience as well. Two minutes on your back. Pick a leg. Doesn't matter. We're doing both. In immediate succession. I've got the one. This leg is going down. First step is crawling all the way up as high as you can go. Second step is settling and letting the pull happen. And during the two minutes, pull with the biceps and the back muscles. Shall we go for two minutes? Nice long hold. Make sure at the end, you're going further than where you started. Begin. Two minute hold. Keep the knees straight by flexing the quads. Try to squeeze it a little bit further towards your face. Every exhale. Thirty seconds in already. Bring that leg towards you. Create some change today. Don't just sit and relax but push your boundaries gently, but push them nonetheless. One minute in feels quite different than the beginning. We got a whole minute left to make this progressive. Every exhale a little bit further, even if it's a nanometer. Slowly come out. That's our two minutes on the leg. Very nicely done. Feels lovely. Prepare for that other leg to feel much tighter. And again, that's just an indication of success on the first leg. Capture it. Eat up the towel with your fingers as high as you can go. Two minutes begins. Now sink into it. Oh, it's tight. Straighten that knee. And let the interval do its work. Let it feel shitty at the beginning. And as you exhale every time, pull a little bit further. And we'll progress just fine. There's our halfway mark. Sink further. Every exhale, crank up a notch.
Final 30. Slowly relax out. Great work for the hamstrings. Very nice. Love it. Oh, thanks, Jeff. Nutcracker. <laughs> Pigeon. This is how now we rotate the hip. We just hit it square up. Now we hit it with the rotation. I'm showing you from the front. Very important again with this one that the leg we're stretching the knee stays at 90 degrees or more open. Like on my tabletop first, let's bring the left leg up like so. Flipping the hands, so now it's in the middle. Heel toeing across. And then I settle into my left hip. Make sure, again, this knee is not closed up. We need 90 degrees or even more open. Through the two minutes, I'm going to try and get my leg further back behind me and my chest towards that front leg. Uh, if you're a jiu -er out there, think rubber guard. Bring the shin right up to the face. Settle into it. Toes up on that front leg to protect from knee twisting. This one, that LCL might not like it if that's the case. Stay here, be gentle, do a light version of it. If it feels good, go ahead and sink all the way in. Two minutes, go. Deeper on every exhale, even if it's a slight amount. One minute left. Like we did last week, if you're already here with the chest, what you're going to do is bring your right arm in front of your body. And you're going to start twisting to look at the left side. Final 15, make something happen. Ease out of it slowly. Very nice. Good stuff. Love that one. <sighs> now the right leg. Same thing. I got my tabletop. Let me show you the setup from a different angle. It might be helpful. Tabletop. Bring the right leg all the way up, outside the right hand. Then I'm going to take my right hand, bring it on the outside. I'll heel toe this front foot across until I reach about my left. And then I'm putting that knee down. And I'm you might be way over here just to accommodate. That's fine. All good. Remember this front knee, not any deeper than 90. Instead, maybe a little more open. And then always toes up. That protects the knee from a little bit of that twisting pressure. 
doesn't make it bulletproof, but gives it a little help. Through the interval, I'm bringing my chest towards that front heel. Two minutes. Enjoy. Every exhale, go further. Eventually, I'm looking to the right side. Ten seconds. Squeeze it out. Slowly turn out. <sighs> Lovely. Great. Now we're going to hit that weird pyroformis stretch. Uh, also two minutes per side. This is one we rarely hold for long. Today we're going to hit it. Start with the left leg. I'm wide. Putting the left leg in. Like so. Let me turn this angle a little bit. Wide. Putting that left leg in. Taking the right foot over top. Trapping. Trapping, trapping. Throughout the interval, I'm going to try to bring the seat down. Turn towards the camera. Looking to feel that behind the left hip stretch. Make sure the front knee is 90 or more open. Shall we go for the two minutes? It's on. Lift that trapping knee, both toes up, lean back. Try to bring the left cheek down and the left chest looking out to your left side. Sit back. The leg that's doing the trapping, raise that knee up. Oh, and there it is. Beginning to open. Let's hip rotators. Coming up on halfway through, sink deeper and deeper. Raise the trapping leg, knee higher and higher. Turn that left cheek towards the floor. Arms are getting a little tired on this one, that's okay. Forty seconds left. Turn more, twist more. Last 10.
Ooh. Ease out slowly. Wow. Wow. Oh. oh my goodness. It shows that I rarely do that one. Two minutes on the other side. Starting wide, put the right knee down. 90 degrees or more open. Toes up, putting that trap leg on top. Leaning way back. Two minutes. Go. Turning out to the right side. Lifting the left knee up to keep the trap. Let's go. It should feel quite tight at the beginning. Careful of that right knee. If the inside edge of it is unhappy, respect what it says it can handle. So much of this is mental, too. And I don't mean that in what you think you'll manifest type of fashion. Well, I do, but it is a lot of what's happening right now is the central nervous system's connection to the muscles. So one could argue with conscious processes, you could speed up this process a little bit. You could speed up the relaxing just by thinking about that. So try to imagine where you feel the stretch and tell it with your mind to loosen up, quit resisting, move into new ranges. There's our two minutes. Lean away, untrap, lift that leg. Wow, 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 wow. Lovely. Great. Let's get into some upper body. You dig? A lot of crazy push-up variations yesterday. Um, not too many days ago, we did the 400. Shoulders are catching some abuse. So the next three stretches are going to be all about that shoulder joint, super mobile shoulder joint. This is where the towel comes into play. First, we're going to do exactly what we did before the push-ups yesterday. And we're just going to roll overhead to open up those shoulder joints. I'm reaching way out, almost to the towel. Shoulder back, chest up. And I come behind. And right there, I'm squeezing back with my shoulder blades. I'm puffing out with the chest. And I get a nice pec stretch. You'll feel if you go lower and further back, that gets extended overhead. We'll do 12, nice and slow. If you're more flexible than I, you're going to eat the towel up and get a shorter piece of it. What I want you to do is find a short enough piece of towel so that you can't really go much lower than what I just showed. We should be getting limited right about there. If you're able to go much lower, grab a narrower piece of towel and try it again. <sighs> And don't be passive with the upper back. We still need to do this the whole time and squeeze that. Another nine. Eight. Try to find symmetry, too, and evenness in the two shoulders. Seven. Six. Five. 
guys. Four. Three. Two. One. It's wet narrower. And we're going to do the same exact thing, except we're going to hold it now for two minutes. Let me take that watch off so I can actually see where we're at. We should choose such a narrow piece that we can't really get beyond the height of the ears behind us. So like there, maybe. And as I progress through the stretch, I should try to go a little bit lower and reach a little further back. You gotta make sure you feel a constant stretch during the entire two minutes. If I go too wide, I can get behind my head easy and I just plop down. I want the tension of the towel to prevent further dropage. Two minutes begins now, up overhead. Squeeze the shoulder blades back. Find that big old pec stretch. And if you're getting limited about head height, you've chosen the right width. Squeeze your shoulder blades back the whole time, just like you're preparing for bench press. Push your chest up. And during the two minutes, we're going to reach further behind us and maybe drop the towel a little bit. If your shoulders don't like it, slowly ease out. Get out of the stretch. If you have hypermobile shoulders, you do have some risk of dislocation here. So if you're if you're feeling it show up, if you're feeling that, whoa, it's getting too loose, just ease yourself out of it and relax. Cough that chest out. Cough that chest out. Bigger chest, shoulders further back. Oh, very gentle here. Very, very gentle. If you got to get out, get out and do it slowly. 40 seconds remaining. Final 30, reach behind you, puff that chest out. Final 15, 10, make a plan for how you're going to exit carefully, 3, 2, 1, overhead, and relax, really nice, that was awesome, I love that, of course my upper back is uh, exhausted from doing the squeeze the whole time but definitely worth it for the pecs. Ooh, that's quite nice. I feel nice and open. We're gonna move now into the rotator muscles of the shoulder, the four. Uh, bonus points for those who can name any one of them, actually. Uh, we're first going to move into the external rotators, namely the infraspinatus. Two minutes there. We'll take the left leg. This is an arm, by the way, the left arm. <clears throat> I'll move a little closer to show some shoulder detail. Sides, or we went like that. So this is going to be the, the position where the fingertips are just behind the love handle, if you have one like I do. Uh, but first, you're going to make a little loop with the towel, like so. Loop. I'm going to hold the loop with my right hand. I'm going to put my left arm through it. And I'm capturing right on top of the elbow. So I can't see my elbow bend anymore. I don't want to be too high in the tricep. I don't want to be down in the form. Right on top of that elbow. It's a sling. Now we bring 
the knuckles behind the love handle. The goal is to pull that elbow forward and bow those fingers out, spinning the humerus towards us, internally rotating that upper arm as much as possible. Good. And also we'll do two minutes. So I'm rounding, chin down, pulling with that arm. What I can do to help is maybe go further out on the towel and then bring it in front of my ribs. So it's a little bit of a, a vice grip there, a little bit of a friction lock. And then when I want more, I'm just going to crawl up the towel, pull further. <laughs> Ready for two minutes? Go. If the wrist slides a little bit out, that's fine. You're going to feel it somewhere on the back of that shoulder, that left shoulder. You might feel the front delt, front tip, but you're going to feel it somewhere on the back of that shoulder, that left shoulder. You might feel the front delt, front tip of the delt. That's fine. Too. <laughs> I have a history of shoulder dysfunction, so this one is particularly brutal for me right now. More pulling, more twisting. And again, if the shoulder feels extremely vulnerable to the point where you don't like it, just ease out, get out of this one. Oh. <laughs> Pull with the right arm so the elbow gets cranked forward. Past halfway. Eee! Forty-five seconds. Wow. Serious. <laughs> Thirty seconds. I might have to bail early. My shoulder's getting a little wonky. I'll see if I can hang on. Twenty seconds. All right, I'll make it ten seconds. Relax slowly, carefully, straighten that arm. Pull it in front of you. <laughs> Damn. Other side, shall we? Wow, that, that's pretty serious. Make the bundle again. Putting my right arm through the bundle this time. Right elbow's covered. Right wrist goes behind the love handle. And I'm going to use that left hand with the towel to pull forward and in front. And when I feel like I've got a good stretch edge, I'm just going to trap it onto the belly. And when I want more, I'm going to crawl up and grab more. Start cranking that shoulder. Begin. Two minutes. This would be the self Kimura, if you will. Set of the wrist slides a bit out, that's fine. So as I'm getting ready this morning to come here, I'm loudly hearing a whole family argue in my apartment complex. <laughs> And I really had no idea what it was about. It didn't sound violent, so I continued on my way. But it just made me reflect for a moment. As we're all stuck inside, 
yes, we do get a little stir crazy, uh, and we're subject to much longer than normal those you side with. So if you're feeling a little frustration, realize that it's extremely normal. Of course, within the bounds of safe frustration. Shouldn't be abusive at all. However, if you feel a little annoyance, it's not you. <laughs> it's not just you, at least. <laughs> Understand that's a, a universal struggle right now. And um, try to find some appreciation for those you're stuck with. And let the annoyance fade away. You dig? Because we're all in it together. Ah, that's for two minutes. Shake it out. Beautiful. Good. Last two for the upper body head stretch. This one's for you, Manny. Uh, before we get to that, now we have the broomstick. With the left arm. So we just did the rotation that way. Now we're going to force the rotation the other way. This will be an internal rotator cuff stretch, namely the subscapularis is really the muscle we're getting at of importance. I'm going to take the broomstick in my left hand. Dig. I'm rotating that. Okay, yeah, the, the thumb up, thumb up grip. Like I'm holding a fencing sword. Then I'm bending to make a little bicep flex. Like I'm going to use this thing to scratch my back. To make a little bicep flex. Like I'm going to use this thing to scratch my back. And I want to be able to see it in that gap. Now here's the hard part. It's grabbing it. Maybe you need a little help from the ground, or we can go deeper with the bicep flex. I need the ground to help push it on the floor first. Now I have reach. I'm pushing open so it's closer to 90 degrees, and I want to make sure that the broomstick is not on my arm, but it's on the shoulder. That's a lot more comfortable for the back. It's not there there and the grip up here is kind of whatever as long as you can hang on to it we're good it's up to us though to retract the shoulder blades push the chest out if it's really tough for you to reach that you can always go somewhere like a counter and put this point up on the counter like so I'm going to try my best to hold it. Oh, it looks like I can rest it on my leg there. This one also very vulnerable. Two minutes, it's on. Uh, if it's not feeling right, just get out of it slowly. Very strange stretch. It's like we're about to pitch a baseball. We're stuck in that starting position. Please be careful. 30 seconds in. You'll know. You'll have this feeling like, oh, the shoulder's going to roll out. And just ease out of it. Don't panic. Don't make any quick, aggressive movements to exit. Do it gently. Let go of the broomstick. And unwind your arm. Otherwise, if it feels positive, stay in it. Get a real feel for this thing, you can start to bend forward. It's going to crank that wrist back further. This is that self Americana key lock situation. Thirty seconds.
10. Ease out slowly. Ha! So I'm feeling afterward, I should have been a little bit higher up with that one and done less of a twist. So I broke my own rules about the 90 degree joint. I'll be better on the other side. Okay, right arm. Just did. Scratch your back coming up. I'm doing a better job of reaching. Two minutes, go. Make sure you're squeezing that upper back. Eee! There it is. Weird armpit shoulder stretch thing. You might feel it up your forearm too, across the bicep. All things influenced by the subscapularis and its tightness. One minute left, hang in there. If it feels wrong, slowly and carefully exit. Push it comfortably. Thirty seconds. Leaning forward to get more out of it. Oh, be careful. Twenty seconds. Five, four, three, two. Ease out carefully. <sighs> Mama. Wow. That's some serious change in the shoulders. I like it. Now we got one stretch left. I'll give you an option, your flavor, your choice. Uh, this is for the entire back side of the body. Every chunk of the vertebrae and then down into the hamstrings. You can do our standard double hamstring stretch that we've really enjoyed lately. Nice and tall, flexing the knee straight, toes up, and then everything crumbles. Chin rolls down, middle back is flexed. You reach. Or, if you liked the variation last Sunday, where you're on your back and you let gravity spill you over, a little more focus on the back of the neck for that one. You can do that. We're going to do a uh, four minute. Um, we kind of the first couple weeks got into how long can we push it. I think we did a six minute or a seven minute, then we did a 10 minute, which is great. Uh, but now that we understand the feeling of pushing those stretches, we can accomplish a similar amount with a shorter amount of time with the progressive mindset and with the flex of our own muscles pulling us into the extra range of motion. Uh, don't just let time alone be the variable that progresses you. It's nice to kind of and let gravity do the shit. Or I could start a little more aggressive, crank myself down, and perhaps get a little more done in four minutes than I otherwise could have with a passive 10 minutes. So here are your options, you're reaching, or I'm gonna go to the front of the mat, the spill over, and it's a really similar position, we're just inverted with gravity. Chin goes to the chest, 
the knees stay straight so we get the hamstring stretch. Then we roll over that way. You dig? Pick your poison. Four minute timer is getting set. Starting in five, four, three, two, begin. As I'm burning, I'm feeling quite a bit on the back of the neck and the upper back. I'm noticing that more than the hamstrings, and that's okay. Feel that change happening, the pain decreasing. Be patient. Remember, it comes from the brain, so tell your muscles to relax. Halfway. One minute left, enjoy the end. Continue the progression. Slowly roll out. Good, solid four minutes. Oh, that was a roll out. Good, solid four minutes. Oh, that was Reset your back with a brief cobra or sphinx on the belly. Come on up. Flex the back side of the body. Get a nice lift. And relax. Feel free to hang out right there. I always like to grip the floor here and pull myself to so get a little traction in the lower body. That was lovely.
I especially enjoy the extra shoulder rotation stretches. Thanks again for being patient with the start today. I didn't intend to update my operating system. <laughs> Tomorrow we're back to intense work. We uh, just found out we have over a month more to go with the stay-at-home order. So expect to see... Oh, yeah. Thank you, Nassim. I agree. feels quite nice. I love it. Here, too. Hopefully you feel that got stretched a little bit. I didn't feel it during the session, but now that we're just a little bit. I didn't feel it during the session, but now that we're done, I'm realizing I'm in that relaxed zone. Uh, so I'll do my best to put it to good use for the rest of today. I have some reading I'd like to do, and I always feel scatterbrained when I try to read. So perhaps now I'll have uh, better luck staying focused with this mindset we just cultivated. Per, per month in a couple days. What's today? The April 12th. So roughly 33 days more of stay at home unless it changes and gets extended. That's a lot of time. All right. And listen, I'm running out of ridiculous stuff to wear. So if you find any fun stuff on Amazon that I should be ordering, send me those links. I'm pleased to make a fool of myself if that's what it takes to make you entertained and keep me having fun. Uh, also, that's a lot of routines that we're going to go through. A lot of exercises, probably hundreds Hundreds of exercises, different exercises, and hundreds of. So, if you have any requests, if there's something you'd like to focus on, something you'd like us to do more of, maybe it's a body part, maybe it's a motion type. I know we're crushing those push-ups, doing really well there. Uh, maybe you've got questions on that specific variations. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe it's tough, like it is for me, for you, uh, to do squats with no weight and keep the feet down flat, keep the heels down. Maybe that's your quest. Anyway, whatever comes up, let me know. And also, if it's not exercise related, we can discuss that too. On my way here today, I had a phone call with somebody who was uh, having trouble with his lower back. Um, sleeping on a new surface, on a new mattress. So we were talking about sleep, posture, quarantine diet. Now that different things are available to you, how do you optimize that? Whatever. Whatever it is. Maybe you want to talk about how you can help other people in your immediate vicinity. Or maybe also like me, you have some relatives who are kind of stuck by themselves. And we can discuss strategies on maybe pump them up a little bit, keep them in a positive place, uh, or send them some things to do. Maybe a couple of these YouTubes, you know? Or maybe you got people who are very beginning in fitness, or maybe they're older relatives, people with uh, injuries, or whatever combination they're of, and these YouTubes seem to you like they might be a little too complicated, a little too intense. I'm happy to do a little extra session with some uh, simpler with some uh, simpler, let me help you in yours as well. And there's our stretch Sunday. Keep stretching your brain, most important thing we got. Love you all. Enjoy the relaxation.